President Trump campaigned on getting America's economy back on track. And with the second quarter GDP reading of 4.1 percent, looks like we're well on our way. Former presidential candidate Herman Cain joins us now. Herman, good morning. Good morning, Cheryl. All yes, right. we are. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get your reaction to what the president, vice president said to Maria uh, about America's economic growth. Listen to what he said. The reality is, in the last two administrations, the economy grew by less than 2%. And in the first 18 months of this administration, we were a little shy of 3% last year. We're on track to be at 3% or better this year. See in the second quarter, 4.1% growth. Uh, exports growing dramatically. Uh, that added to the reality of 3.7 million new jobs created since Election Day 2016. Uh, I just uh, I, I couldn't be more proud to serve alongside a president who's been working every day to keep the promise he made to the American people. What do you make about his point that this president has got an economy that's booming and the, his two predecessors did not have these kind of GDP numbers? I think Vice President Pence was spot on. And I happen to believe that he's also right. And the reason that the two previous administrations weren't able to achieve more than a 2% GDP growth rate is because the fundamentals based upon their policies were not in place. For example, I heard Vice President Pence say, as part of this interview that I happened to catch earlier, that business investments are way up. And when business investments are way up, they are expanding and they are hiring people. And so the unemployment is what I call low, low. Whenever you get to 4% unemployment, it's not just low, it is low, low. So when you look at the fundamentals and you look at the trade deals that are being renegotiated, I happen to agree with the president and Vice President Pence 100%. You know, I, I'm always curious because there are a lot of folks out there who will argue, how can you possibly support this president when he behaves the way he does on Twitter, when he made the mistake that he did um, in Helsinki, when, the, when we've got children um, being separated from their parents, how can you still support the president? And yet his support continues to grow and people look at the promises that he made on tax reform. They look at it on trade. They look at it on immigration. They look at jobs. They look, he said he was going to be tough on China and he's doing all those things and they say it's worth the trade off. How do you talk to people about how you can separate those two things? There's a difference between supporting Donald Trump, the man, and Donald Trump, his agenda. And when I travel, people talk about the results. They talk about the agenda. They don't talk about all of this noise out there that is put in place to try to distract people from the real results. Now, Democrats want to focus on the noise because they have nothing else to focus right. on. It's true. There's an, there's an, right. there's an old saying. You're right. When you're in a hole, stop digging. Well, the Democrats <laughs> are in a hole and they won't stop digging. So people are not getting consumed by all of the noise. That, That's what I believe. That the low, low. I love it. Hey, I want to ask you about what's going to happen today with the president. He's going to be meeting with the Italian prime minister. Now, Italy's government wants to slap down a trade deal that they just negotiated by the EU between EU and Canada. What do you make of that? The Italians are saying this is a bad deal and they're taking their country back. They are taking the lead of President Donald J. Trump. Remember all of the outcry when he said he was going to challenge the EU, he was going to challenge NAFTA, and people's heads exploded thinking that the wheels were going to come off all of our international trade? No. It brought people to the table, and we are seeing some results in the negotiation phase so far. So what Italy has said, well, if the United States can do what's best for the United States, maybe we ought to stand up and challenge the EU and do what's best for, our, for Italy, especially our small farmers. That's what I see happening. President Trump is showing international leadership, international courage, and it's spreading to other countries. Now, may I make, make Italy great again. Uh, Herman Cain, Herman, thank you so much for being here this morning. We appreciate it.